This is BJ Franz K. Notice that if I want, I can press this button and export it as a WAV file to use in some other program. I don't have to have the Fruity Loops home version. I could just use the mobile version. I can also export a MIDI file, which is very powerful, which means that we could import it into a variety of other programs. Let's try it. This next step may surprise you. I'm actually going to drag in my MIDI file into Ableton Live. This is the one that we exported from FL Mobile, remember? And now I can place it in and Ableton has separated it out into MIDI tracks for me. Amazing. Now I'm going to drag from the VST Instruments Rob Papin's Punch drum machine, which I recently reviewed, and I'll put it on this MIDI drum track. Amazingly, the mapping is quite similar, and uh, it actually works. I might adjust a little of the mapping there, but that's, uh, that's some great luck. Let's try adding some synth leads. Maybe that's not such a perfect match at first try, but I'll uh, mess around and uh, try a few different ones. In almost no time, I've been able to retool my MIDI sequence made in FL Studio Mobile to a completely different program. You can do it too, even if you don't have the desktop version of FL Studio 10. Of course, it's best to have the two of them together, but there's all sorts of things a person can do if they are clever. For an added touch, I have mixed in the wave loop that we exported from FL Studio Mobile into the Ableton Live session. You can hear that. I'll unsolo it. And over here are the MIDI file elements that we exported. So we brought them both back into Ableton Live. I'm very pleased with these results. I'll probably make some more tracks using this method. <laughs> 